Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 10th CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about how to style hyperlinks using CSS. Uh, and this is actually a topic we discussed in an HTML tutorial 8, uh, if you watch the HTML tutorials. Um, but in that tutorial, we focused mainly on changing the color of a hyperlink, uh, which we're going to talk about here. But we're also going to talk about a couple other properties of hyperlinks, such as uh, text decoration uh, and changing the colors and looks of the hyperlinks uh, at various states of the hyperlink. So, um, what we have here is, uh, we're actually using Safari now since I bought a Mac, and um, we don't have the div up here to make it look nice like we did in previous tutorials for the CSS series. Uh, but other than that, everything is pretty much the same. We're also using Sublime Text 2 as the text editor. Um, but enough of that, let's get into the CSS uh, and HTML. So here's the code that we have for um, the HTML page. Uh, we're linking to the style sheet called styles.css, which is on our uh, in the same directory as the index.html, it's on my desktop. Um, so we're linking to this, and this is blank. Uh, and this is pretty much blank, except for the uh, text that you see here and the text in the header there. So um, let's get to work on this. Let's actually add a hyperlink here so we can see what we're going to do. So we'll add uh, a link to Google. Oop, forgot HTTP. And we'll just say google.com. So let's save this, come over here to our web page, and we'll refresh. And you'll notice that we have a visited, because it's purple, uh, hyperlink to google.com. So uh, since we know how to change the color in HTML, uh, let's learn now how to change the color in CSS. Um, so it's pretty much similar to changing the color of any text that you've written in CSS, uh, which we learned a couple tutorials ago. But if we come back here to Sublime Text 2, uh, click on Styles, we can create a rule for all A, ta a tags, or anchor tags, uh, which is going to cover all hyperlinks on the page. And then we'll create a code block here. and uh, we're going to use the color property, so color, and what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's change the color to red. Uh, so if we save this, come over here to our web page and refresh, you'll notice that uh, google.com, Google even though it's been visited, um, that doesn't matter if it's active visited or anything like that, is now red. And this would be the same thing for every hyperlink if we had multiple hyperlinks on the page, uh, regardless of their state. So let's come back over here to Sublime Text and we'll edit our CSS code again. Um, in addition to changing the color, we can also change the background color. Uh, so we'll just say background. And let's change the background color to yellow, uh, which we can save, come over here, and take a look. And you'll notice that now we have red text on a yellow background. And uh, you sometimes might see this uh, in, in practice, but not too often. So let's come over here to Sublime Text 2 again. We'll erase this, and we're going to talk about another property of a hyperlink um, called text decoration. And text decoration, uh, it basically has to do with this line that's underneath it, the underline of the text. And we can actually change that using CSS, which is something we can't do using HTML. Uh, so let's say, for example, we want to get rid of this. All we need to do is come into our CSS code, use the text decoration property, and we'll just say none. And that'll eliminate all text decoration from every link on the page, uh, again, because we're just using the uh, tag here for all anchor tags. So uh, we'll save this, come over here and refresh. And you'll notice that we removed the text decoration or the underline from the google.com link. Uh, and this is useful if you have a website and you don't want any uh, underlines, perhaps if you're having some text or you just want to uh, change the, the color of the hyperlink instead. Um, this is just a good way to go ahead and do that. So if we come back in here, we can actually alter the text decoration a couple other ways. We can put in uh, a, a line, for example, under uh, above the, the text, for example. So we'll just type in overline instead of underline. Save it come back into Safari and refresh, and you'll notice that now we have a line above google.com rather than under it. Uh, this isn't something I don't think I've seen too often, or I don't even know if I've ever seen it uh, in practice or use, but it's just an interesting thing that you can do. And for example, if you want to, uh, you can do a strike through effect, meaning the line goes through the text, uh, which you can do by saying line dash through. And if we save this, come back over and refresh, you'll notice that we now put a line through the google.com. And this sometimes you do see. Um, but anyway, let's come back over here and learn about one more thing about styling hyperlinks, uh, which has to do with changing the look of a hyperlink according to its state. Uh, now, hyperlinks have a couple different states. There's an active or unvisited link, a visited link, uh, a link that you're hovering over, and a link that, you're clicked, that you've clicked on and are holding uh, when you click down. Uh, so these are all represented by pseudo classes of the A class here, uh, the, or the A tag, rather. Uh, the A identifier. And we can change 
the look of the hyperlink based on these um, pseudo classes and what's going on with the link uh, in its current state. So there are a couple different states that we can use. Um, the first one is just an active unvisited link. And since we don't have one of those yet on our web page, because Google has visited, we'll come into our sublime text, come into index, and we'll add a link to Yahoo. We'll just put a paragraph space. Uh, so we'll say ahref equals yahoo.com, and we'll just say yahoo.com. So let's save this. Come over here and take a quick look. Oop, just got to save the CSS code as well. Okay, so we have a visited link to google.com and an unvisited link or active link to Yahoo. So if we want to style uh, the visited link first, we'll, well actually we'll style the active link yahoo.com because uh, a lot of links are like this when people first visit a website uh, that may have links to other pages and stuff like that. So we'll come in here and we're going to style the pseudo class. In order to add a pseudo class, which I don't believe we've talked too much about, you just add a colon and then the, the pseudo class that you'd like to add. Uh, so for an, an active link, an unvisited link, it's just going to be a colon link. And you'll notice that the pseudo class changes color uh, there. So within this code block, we're going to say, for example, color, and we'll say black for an unvisited link. And again, all the properties that we just talked about work for uh, all these pseudo classes as well. So if you come back over here to Safari and refresh, you'll notice that this unvisited link to Yahoo has turned black. And if we click on it, it'll turn purple because it's still using the default for a visited link. So let's come back over here to Sublime Text 2. And we're going to add another pseudo class. So we'll say a um, visited. And we'll create a code block here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and we'll say color equals, uh, let's say, red. So if we visited the link, it'll be red. So let's save this. Come over here to Safari and refresh. You'll notice that now the visited link, instead of being purple, is red because we overrode the default style for the link. Uh, there's a couple other things that we can do. We can actually change the color of a link if we're hovering over it, uh, which is something that you'll see uh, in practice. So we can say a hover, and we'll delete this again because Sublime fills in stuff. Uh, and we'll say color equals, uh, let's say, green if you hover over a link. Uh, so let's come over here and refresh. And now you notice that nothing has happened because the link is still in its active or visited state. But if it goes into the hovered state, you'll notice that it turns green when you hover over it, uh, regardless of its previous state. So one more thing we're going to talk about is the state if, if you click on a link and drag it. Like for example here, you'll notice that it still turns green. Um, but we can change the color of that. Uh, if we come over here, we'll add another class. And this is called an active link. I'm um, sorry about that. I was just looking at the notes. So A, active. I have a web page actually open on my iPad. Um, so A active, and what we're going to do is we're going to say color equals, um, we'll say blue. So we'll change it to blue. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that if we click on the link and uh, like hold it down, it'll change to blue. Uh, once we release it, though, it'll go back to its previous state. Uh, and this is true for all links because you can only have one state for a link at a time. Uh, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to style hyperlinks in CSS. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to let me know. Um, and also, there are other things that you can do to style links, but these are just some of the basics. Um, so again, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, and thank you for watching.